What's going on YouTube? So today's video is gonna be a little different because I just wanted to get on here and just kind of chat a little bit about like spirituality, religion, my background with all of it and how I kind of ended up where I am today. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I created this channel to teach you how to live a happier, more positive and loving, fulfilling life. And today we're gonna to just kind of talk very loosely about spirituality, you know, the way I see it is that it's kind of a la carte, if you will. And there's no set right or wrong way to do anything. And I think what's tough about this topic is that there are so many people out there that preach that their way is the right way. No, this way is the right way. And they're throwing all of these things in your face. And like, no, this is the best method to manifest. And this is the best method to do this. And this is the best way to do this. we're all so different and we've all grown up and had different experiences we've grown up from different backgrounds different religions different cultures that there there really is no one-size-fits-all and the thing is a lot of times when we're on the spiritual journey we can kind of feel like we're doing something wrong which is really the opposite of what spirituality is you know, I believe spirituality is freedom and exploring the world and your life and most importantly yourself. And you know, not just like your outer self and your, your 3D self in this physical world, but also your, your soul and your heart and your higher self, the way your brain works. Like there's so much that goes into it that it's not like you're doing things wrong, you're just exploring. There's a lot of exploring in spirituality. Here's the thing. I grew up Catholic. I grew up, now I didn't go to Catholic school, I went to a public school growing up, but um, not only did I go to church on the weekends, but I also went to what's called CCD during the evenings. I think they were like Tuesday or Wednesday night uh, and all the way through eighth grade. Disclaimer, I'm not trying to upset anyone or offend you, which might end up happening, I don't know. Um, but I just kind of want to explain my experience and hopefully you guys, some of you can relate to it. Maybe we can start a discussion in the comments below about, you know, what you're confused about or what you feel like you're doing wrong or whatever, you know, that's the whole thing about spirituality is you're supposed to be able to talk about it and explore different people's ideas and experiences and all that kind of stuff. So I grew up Catholic and while I always believed in God, like there was never any question about that for me. I just didn't resonate with it. There were so many things that I learned in the church, in the Catholic church, that I just, I just, I hated it. I really dreaded going to church. I dreaded anything that had to do with Christianity because of my experience and being, I, I felt like I was forced it growing up. And it's not that my parents are like crazy Catholics or anything, but there was just something about it that I just couldn't, align with and then as i got into my later teen years i totally dropped it now i still believed in god um, but i didn't really have any type of solid relationship with him and it really wasn't something that i thought about really ever it's funny because one of my best friends and i were hanging out over christmas break a few months ago and she was telling me that she felt like i always did have a really big connection so it's interesting how we feel on the inside versus how you know people that we know well perceive us and the way that we view things but i just never felt that really deep connection with god which kind of bothered me but then i just I just like pushed it out of my life. You know what I mean? So then fast forward to May, 2020, right after, after the pandemic started and I began going through my spiritual awakening. And if you haven't caught that video, I will link it in the description box below and in the card up here just to explain how that happened. But you know, that day was wild because I was on a phone appointment for work and I'm in, I'm in real estate and this woman and I just really hit it off and she ended up telling me that I was an empath. If you're not sure what an empath is, I will also link that one in the description below and in the card up here. And 
I had no idea what it was and all of a sudden I started diving into research on that day as soon as I hung up the phone with her I was so intrigued by what she was saying I literally felt like the cells of my body change like I always related to kind of like when spider-man when Peter Parker gets bit by the spider and all of a sudden like mm, like his whole body change like that that's what it felt like that day and something just changed in me and I started going down this spiritual path it was more of like a new age type thing where I just really started researching all these different things and experimenting with different things I bought crystals I had sage I was really into tarot card readings um, I have a pendulum which I actually think is a really cool thing if you've never seen one <sighs> okay so so here's some of my goodies so I have some sage here, as you can see, I've barely used it, but I have, you know, I've got like my whole, oh, my whole crystal box here. And the pendulum is really neat. If you guys want me to do a video about them, I definitely can do that. But basically you connect energetically with this, which as you guys all know, everything's made of energy. So, this is a very in my opinion and you know you can disagree with me that's totally fine i won't be offended but i think it's a very real thing that you know you can connect with this and you essentially will connect with it first and then you can ask your pendulum questions and it'll give you yes or no answers as i was kind of experimenting with all this doing egg cleanses and learning manifestation techniques and vision boards and doing new moon and full moon rituals learning about numerology and astrology and there's just you know recently i've been learning about quantum physics like there's so much to spirituality that it's it's impossible to know everything and the more you know it's almost like the more that you don't know about a year ago i actually ended up finding my way back to christianity and it was like this whole new like rebirth it almost felt like where i felt this crazy intense connection to god that i never felt while being a part of the catholic church all my life ever since then i've been going to a non-denominational church regularly you know i'm reading the bible now i made it a goal that i wanted to read it front to back all the way through and while I do feel there's plenty of room for me to deepen my connection with the Holy Trinity, I feel so much more connected than I ever did just because I was in a different point in my life where it just felt right and it felt more aligned. And there's been times where I've beat myself up like, man, I really wish I'd had this growing up or I wish I had this connection, I feel so behind. Especially when I go to church, I feel so behind compared to all of the people there. But the bottom line is like, this is my journey. And whatever you're going through on your spiritual or religious journey, like that's all, that's that's your journey. That is your relationship with yourself and and God and you know the source creator of all the universe and life. And it's just such a beautiful thing. You know, at this point where I'm at is like I am a full blown Christian. I am a believer. That's never going to change. Like I know it with every fiber in my being. I believe in God so deeply. However, there's such a, a stigma with Christianity and specifically Catholicism. That is hard to say. <laughs> and so the Catholic Church, in my opinion, is very fear-based, where I feel like true Christianity is very love-based. And so even now, as I go through and I'm experimenting with different things, you know, I've come to realize like, I wanted to be that girl so bad. I wanted to be the sage girl and the crystal girl and doing all that crazy stuff. But you know, it just doesn't really do it for me. But on a different note, this pendulum, which I haven't used in a really long time, I really always felt connected to. So it's like, you know, obviously this is a rose quartz. I feel more connected to this than I do with my regular like rose quartz crystal. And do I know why? No, but it's like for so long, I tried to force myself to be connected with the sage and the crystals and all this stuff, but like I'm not and that's okay. So I'm at this weird point in my spiritual awakening journey where I'm trying to figure out like what it is that I truly align with within my Christianity, but simultaneously not going through the fear of, am I disobeying God? Am I doing this wrong? Because again, 
God, source, creator is love. So in all, in that sense, you're not really able to do anything wrong as long as you believe in that higher power. And I just feel like there are so many lines to cross and to draw. You know, the other day, a friend of mine sent me a video where this guy was going off about how yoga is against Christianity and, Christi and Christians shouldn't practice yoga. And this like really triggered me. Like this was like a very triggering video for me and I didn't think it was at first, but days later I was still thinking about it and still just like, what the hell? I think where I'm at now is that I'm learning a more unconventional Christian way of living with, you know, meditating and yoga and connecting with, you know, angels and my higher self and God, which, um, you know, some people believe are all the same things. Some people believe are different things. Like it's really, again, up to you what you think. And my whole point in getting on here and talking about this stuff is because one, I feel like people don't talk about it. Like everyone just gets on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or whatever. And they're just like, no, this is the right way. And it's just like, how can you say that? And how can you agree with that with the infinite amount of things in the universe, you know, the different planets and the different galaxies and, and different life forms, like extraterrestrial creatures, you know, and if you really look into some of these things, they're present, you know, here on earth. And you look at things like numerology and, and, and signs and things like that. So much of this stuff is based on what's going on in your mind where I think I talked about this in one of my previous, oh, it was a TikTok I made where like, if you see, for example, a specific bird or a specific repeating number, and you think that that has meaning for you, then it does. But that meaning does that it has for you doesn't mean it has that meaning for every single other person, whether they're on a spiritual journey or not. And I just think that there should be some more open conversation about spirituality in general. You know, there's people out there that do Reiki, and like that's something I, I definitely believe in, like Reiki and chakras and and things like that. Um, there's a lot of people that do psychedelics, you know, psychedelics to connect to their higher selves and to God's source, and you know mother nature and all of these things and who's to say any of this is wrong and i think that spirituality is just so it's so a la carte and it's so specific to you that you should never feel like you're doing anything wrong unless you're harming yourself or harming another human being or another creature i mean you're really not able to mess up spirituality and the thing is going back into the Christian stuff, you know, I've, I've been learning a ton about the law of assumption and you know, it's different than law of attraction, which is also another universal law. And there's a lot of this type of stuff in the Bible. And the thing is, is when you go to these churches, even the non-denominational churches that I go to, they don't really teach you this stuff. So there's just a lot of, it's like you got to connect the dots for yourself and you have to do that by, you know, praying and journaling and whatever feels, dancing, you know, whatever just feels good to you. Oh, and check out my shirt that I have on today. I didn't even do this on purpose, I swear. Um, which is funny because I don't really vibe with Sage and Crystals, but check it out. Sage, Crystals, and Trap Music. Trap Music though, yeah. Y'all know me, you know I love my EDM festivals. But yeah, I just really wanted to get on here and do kind of like an informal video and just talk a little bit about spirit. You know, I feel weird. I feel weird sometimes getting on here and talking about spirituality because even though I've been on this journey for a few years now, it still feels like the outside world hasn't caught up with my inside world as far as like how important this stuff to me and how much like how this is really the biggest part of me now is my spirituality side and so sometimes i feel kind of weird getting on here because i feel like people always knew me as a fitness girl which is cool you know whatever i mean i still train at the gym six days a week but i just don't resonate with that type of label anymore 
and I think that's a, a thing that we get caught up in in spirituality is labels and what's right and what's wrong and how to do this and how not to do that and you're doing that wrong and you're doing this wrong and it's like I'm on here to just tell you if you're into any type of spirituality just explore it because that's why we're here we're here to explore ourselves and explore life and nature and just see the beauty in things so you're not doing anything wrong. And I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on all of this in the comments below. I mean, this stuff is just like so interesting to me and I really don't have many people to talk to about it. So maybe that's why I'm getting on here and making this video. I know it's very unstructured compared to what I typically do on here, but I just, uh, I just gotta get it out sometimes, you know? So I don't know if you necessarily found this video valuable. I hope you did. I hope it like sparked a, oh, okay. Like I can just to be free. Be free, find the freedom and spirituality. Go do some dumb egg cleanse like I did or whatever thing they have, you know, fold up a piece of paper and put it under your pillow at night or freeze a banana in the freezer with someone's name on it. I don't know, there's so many like things out there that you can do and try and you're never going to know what resonates with you and what aligns with you until you do try these things. Like I know that like, I freaking believe that crystals have energies and things to them, but like I just don't, I just don't really resonate with them. And like that's okay. And but you don't want to be so judgmental about other people that do. Like there are other people out there that feel super energized and connected and protected by these crystals. And I think that's so beautiful. I think that's such a cool thing. And you know, just because it's not for me doesn't mean it shouldn't be for you and vice versa. So just go explore life and enjoy yourself and have fun and enjoy spirituality because that's what it's meant for is to just feel connected, you know, not divided. Don't divide our, you know, we can't divide ourselves by judging others and how they practice their own spirituality. Let's come together in conversation and you know, you never know what dots will connect when you're talking with others. So I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.